is the new wizard that I've just put together, modded, and uh, done all the little things that I like uh, to it. And uh, obviously that was after, if you've watched my previous videos, that was after uh, my last wizard had a uh, an ESC fire and a uh, pretty decent crash. So um, now I've stripped it down. I've got a huge basket of uh, parts, basically a whole wizard apart from uh, the ESC. And um, so now I have a, a heap of parts and I bought a almost ready to fly wizard. So all I needed to do was chuck the receiver in it out of my other one which was still fine and uh, get it ready to roll and it's uh, just about ready to roll so um, yeah it's got new everything so we've got some nice uh, nice new blades which is going to look good and perform well if I can find the right one so yeah it's all going to be uh, quite a nice new machine and uh, just a couple of things that I advise if you get a wizard, well, basically any quad, but uh, for the wizard there's a few things that you need to do that are quite important. And one of them is that in the factory they don't do these nuts up very well, sorry, these screws up very well. Um, the motor screws, they're, they're always loose. so. Um, basically you should just take every one out one at a time uh, a dab of Loctite and uh, pop it back in not too tight because they're soft mounted of course so um, you got to be careful you don't crank on them but um, get them all nice and even and a uh, bit of Loctite and make sure that they're all done of course so um, you're not going to lose uh, motor mount screws while you're flying um, what else have we done here uh, the receiver is, is soft mounted uh, and a nice little pad and uh, I've used a, a much stronger uh, zip tie at the back for my uh, RC antenna or for the receiver and um, a bit of hot glue always helps um, keep things in place of course but that's a lot sturdier and also the, you'll note the uh, wire is mounted on the outside of the strip and then heat shrinked over the top not on this side um, it just, it's just going to help I think for exposure um, what else um, just trying to come up with a better idea to um, for the wires uh, from the battery just thinking about crashes and flying wires and propellers and all the rest of it um, I've been using a system like this here which works quite well for me I keep a rubber band on every lipo and uh, and then of course I just plug it in there and basically that's how it sits and it, it's pretty good except um, you know th these bands can break or they can they get old and perished and you, you really don't want them to come off in flight and, and then have a have a crash of wires flying everywhere just need to get things secure but obviously not heavier so I came up with this little idea of just putting one of these little, um, what would you call them, like a stereo um, clip that you'd put on the wall to mount your speaker wires maybe, hide them away, that type of thing, or car stereo, but it works really well. Um, you can see there it's just a little, boy that is hard to see, little clip there and you can lift it up and it locks in place so uh, I think that'll work quite well because um, it's got double sided tape and it sticks to the side here so uh, basically chuck your battery on, strap it down chuck your wires into there clip it in plug in your, in your battery there and basically it's going to sit like that and that's pretty damn secure I like that a lot. So, um, and then to release, you need to press on it and then stick your fingernail under it. But, um, so there's that. Um, I don't use a GoPro because I think uh, carrying around extra weight is uh, 
uh, not a great idea when I mean you don't need a viewing screen on your HD camera so I prefer to use the Mobius or even one of the other similar uh, brands that uh, are like this not rather than the big square GoPro but um, this is a this is an awesome little camera I highly recommend these for for gliders and quads helicopters whatever you use but um, this fantastic picture though extremely tough um, and really adaptable I mean you can do all sorts so I've got another mount that I put on it that I often uh, uh, I'll remove the um, the camera off this and I can with velcro put this mount on here it's a bull mount so basically you can point it wherever you want whoops just popped out there and uh, so you can do rearward view um, filming while you're flying and you can tilt it to the side you can do whatever you want with it it's just awesome but um, not practical for all flying because of course uh, when you crash you're probably going to break this thing but uh, I've got a few of them there, they're only a few bucks each. Back to the camera this um, I made this protective ring so if it takes a direct hit on the lens <clears throat> it should pretty much um, hit on the ring uh, I hope um, straight on the front there rather than the glass but I do have the spare lens but uh, they are about 40 bucks each so there was that mod uh, that there to hold it on um, I mean, you can use a strap, but you don't want to cover up your heat sinks, so that's just a cable tie with some uh, braid over it and then some heat shrink over the top of that, holding that on. That's worked out pretty good. Um, what else have we done here? Uh, just a few cable ties holding down your, your uh, motor wires. It's always a good idea, not too tight, but just to keep them in place. Um, I have covered up this one little hole underneath here. Um, I know we want airflow and cooling, but if you land in the long grass there, you're going to get water inside uh, right onto your circuit boards. Um, that's that's a really bad spot. So I, I think it's much better to cover that up. That's uh, this is the front here. So yeah, cover up that hole. But um, uh, what else have we done here? Okay, on this side, the left side, you'll see that. Uh, here. On the left side you'll see in this panel uh, there's a hole in the carbon fibre side plate and it's extremely small and it sits and rubs on the top of all these wires here and uh, so I've just made it bigger, basically got the Dremel in there and just honed it out a little bit just to take the pressure off these coloured wires and um, also a little bit around around these ones but uh, it's quite quite a um, quite a good little mod that one and what else have we done here tightened up the FPV camera a little bit because I like to run it at about 30 32 uh, degrees and um, I have had a problem in the past where uh, you're flying around you end up bumping the ground um, and still flying, not, not a full on crash but bumping the ground and that would be enough to flip your FPV camera down and next thing you have to get your quad back to wherever you're landing with, uh, with it pointed down, it's, uh, it's not that great. 
So anyway, that's nice and tight now. That's really the rock and roll. Uh, what else? Uh, put a put a uh, forty five degree on the on the back antenna here to um, uh, help with broken antennas. I mean, I haven't broken that many, but um, I think this is going to be good just to keep it out of the way. And uh, if it's no good, I'll go back to the straight up and down. But I think this will work quite good. It's fairly secure. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I guess we should go and uh, light the fire. See how it flies. So um, fingers crossed. Fire brigade on standby. <laughs>